looked as if Williams, and he's hurt. He's still down on the ground, but it looked as if Williams came up. And Seth is still down in the end zone, being attended to by the medical crew for Auburn. One of the things I think about when we have such intelligent academics on our campus is how do you partner and leverage the wisdom uh, that, that our campus has? And this is one way that we can do that. And we actually see that partnership come out to fruition actually on the football field. Near the end zone, caught, touchdown Auburn! Touchdown Auburn! Seth Williams, and Auburn gets the touchdown! Williams, does he get in? Touchdown Auburn! Touchdown Seth Williams! Seth Williams, got it! Touchdown Auburn! Touchdown Seth Williams! So we had a uh, grade three AC separation, which is where the, the collarbone comes in and meets the scapula, or the bone that comes off the scapula. And uh, he tore some ligaments that connected those two together. So we were looking for something that just gonna provide a little extra protection other than what the shoulder pads provide. Uh, and that was where we reached out to Michael and his team uh, to see if we could make something that, uh, that would protect him better and allow him to return to the field in a safe manner. So we are 3D printing customized guards and braces for the football players, specifically those that have been injured, various types of injuries and we print them in such a way that they conform perfectly to their body, which allows it to be low profile, allows them to continue to play, but at the same time, it protects them from further injury. It feels like it's not there, other than the taping that will hold it down, but like it fits to like every curve in your shoulder and every like it finds every detail in the body. They scanned it and it came out to fit my shoulder just how it was. Ever since then, like I put it on, and it, it worked amazing. We've always made our own devices in the past. We mold it to the body, but it's not like what they're able to do with the 3D technology and the, and the printing and all that. So that was our biggest selling point behind it is that this is custom fit for his shoulder. And, um, and I think it just gives him better protection. Well, I think typically we see things on the business side or there's some, some other small nuances that all happen behind the scenes. But this is one that's, that's particular exciting to me and I think to our fan base because it's, it's, it's actually tangible. Like we can actually see the results of this creativity and this, uh, this free thinking and this collaboration. Engineering does a lot of interesting research and obviously football uh, has a very important and prominent role on campus, but to be able to see the two collaborate and work together and to do it in such a way that it can be mutually beneficial. Whereas we're able to help football, get some of the athletes back on the field, hopefully sooner than they might have otherwise and they're able to help us by giving us an opportunity and an avenue for conducting this research. Uh, I think that's pretty neat to be able to see that. Uh, it's unique in the sense that I haven't really seen anything else like this anywhere. I see this as being the type of technology that will ultimately be adopted by most sports teams, football included, moving into the future.